a somber feeling spread throughout the church as the ceremony began. He had a very intimate, loving relationship with the Lord, and he wanted to share that with the whole world. And I think that's going to be his legacy for the church. Parishioners tell us they felt the need to be present at the mass hosted by the Diocese of Las Vegas as they were grieving the death of Pope Benedict from thousands of miles away. I wanted to just pray for him uh, and um, just know that I appreciate him for how much he loved uh, God in, in his writings and in his own words and how much he loved uh, Catholics all around the world. The late Pope being remembered for his transparency when he stepped down from his role in 2013. The first Pope to resign in 600 years. It shocked me when he resigned, but uh, that showed his humility to understand that he wasn't uh, able to commit to the job anymore. His decision was made because he saw his health was failing. He said he didn't have the emotional or the physical strength to keep on going. During Mass, Bishop George Leo Thomas revealed he had the honor of meeting the late Pope a few times throughout his life. I was a bit intimidated. I found him to be very grandfatherly, uh, kind, very uh, easy to speak with. During Thursday's Mass, he honored Pope Benedict by wearing a gift he was given by him. He gave me this cross as a, a remembrance of our meeting together, so I've worn it really with a lot of uh, gratitude. Victoria Saha, 8 News Now. We can also tell you that Pope Benedict was born in Bavaria, Germany, and his birth name was Joseph Ratzinger. He passed away in Vatican City on New Year's Eve at the age of 95.